Okay, I've reduced the rate, apparently. Now, it's actually taken effect. Hopefully. So, you tell me how it is now. Whenever you manage to hear my voice, and therefore respond. find it definitely better, it's more fluid now. It still gets its freezes and then it's just kind of tough to see what's going on. There's a lot of moments where you can see the fighting and stuff. It freezes. Uh. Yeah, I think, I think for streaming you're gonna need more mode. Yeah, well the internet here is absolutely sucks. I mean, son of a bitch. Quality is still way up. Like, I mean, it looks really good. Uh, yeah. Also, I think partly it's my PC. My PC does just kind of suck. Really. I mean, it's really sucky. Yeah. I think uh, a better way to do this is I mute uh, I mute the stream and you can talk on the two speed again. Yeah, that would probably be quicker, wouldn't it? I can't hear the, the noises anymore in the game, but... Maybe. You can see and assume. Sort of. All it is, after all, is people screaming and horses going, Nay, hey, hey, hey. Maybe I should do the sound effects for you. There's a guy going oof and ag right now. <laughs> okay, so now you're in TeamSpeak, right? Yeah, now I'm te uh, now I yeah, now I'm teeping on TeamSpeak. Okay. <laughs> so I'm talking to you normally now? Is this is this James I'm talking to and not James? It's James, of the past not James, James of the past. Of the <laughs> it's James what, of the future. I have come to save your life. <laughs> Tomorrow you will so meet weird, an old man. woman and she will offer you a pill. Do not take it. Battle's over, and I had no casualties at all on my team, and they had 105 men killed. Nice. No casualties at all? Not a single one, because my knights so, so are just... Do you, have, do you have, like, a huge influence on the battle, or...? Well, yeah, my guy's quite strong, because he's got amazing two-handed skill, sort of thing. And my the knights are just amazing in this game. Swedian knights are just so strong. They just take no damage and they deal tons. Swabian. What? Swabian knights? Are you serious? Swadian. You say? Yeah. Swadian. Seriously. They are incredibly strong. How is it? How is it written? Uh, S W I A D I A N, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was something like. This people out where I am living are called Swabish. Like yeah, this game is kind of based I, on I, the I old know. races, like, um, Nords are the, like, um, well, they're like your Vikings and the old British and Scottish and those sort of people are your sort of Nord-like people. Um, I think Swadians might have been, like, I don't know. Uh, well, they were knights, so I guess, again, sort of English, because they, like, changed around this period from barbarians to 
the night sort of people, mainly because of Christianity, I believe. Um, so yeah, like, you know, European, basically, instead of just barbarians. Um, and then there were the archers, the Rudox, or archers, um, those might have been like the French, perhaps, or something, because they have specialization in crossbows, and I believe the French were the ones who took up crossbows first, when they came out. Like, I remember the English didn't want to use crossbows, because they had a specific thing, like it no, wasn't... You guys had the longbow. Yeah, we had a specific thing, that it should be skill to use the ranged weapon sort of thing. Like, it should be a skill, like an art, that's why we stuck with longbows, and we, we said yeah. no to crossbows. Like, anyone can use a crossbow, and we were like, no, we shouldn't use that. Well, it also has, uh, weaknesses, like... That's just the way the British were back, way back when. Yeah. Probably still are, to be honest. I know there's times where I look at people with noob tubes in games, and I go, you noob, what are you using there? Playing Lee Sin, what a scrub. <laughs> oh, crikey. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the rage I would get about all the Lee Sin players out there. <laughs> yeah. In all fairness, I can't use him, so yeah, I suck. <laughs> In the end, the crossbow is just as hard as the bow. Well, no, because the bow could just be like prepared and shot sort of thing. The cross, the crossbow could be prepared and shot, but the uh, bow was like um, you had to have the strength to draw it and all that sort of stuff. But you needed strength to draw the crossbow as well. No, Sorry. crossbows were all like hand-ridden things, like little levers. Have you tried and stuff. pulling one of those? My Uncle has one, man. That stuff yeah, is not that's. Easy to pull. There's different crossbows, man. If you have a hand yeah, pulled one, it's wheel. different from oh, one that was actually a wind-up yeah. one. The wind-up one was, as far as I know, the, the real classic up. one. The pullback one was slightly different sure. matter. But I think still, I'm back in the day, if you compare a longbow with, um, and I'm talking a proper longbow, not like one of these fancy pants new bows like they use in the Olympics. That, I don't know, actually, that's something. I don't think the bows in the Olympics should be permitted. I mean, those things are all swinging and dancing. They don't seem like a real bow anymore. I mean, you know, yeah, if you put so much technology good. onto a what bow, I mean. it's not really a bow anymore, is it? It's like it's like a gun almost now. <laughs> yeah, it is because it's not your strength. It's your strength times ten. Or something. Yeah, that's you know. To draw a bow is supposed to be difficult. It's not supposed to be something easy that everyone should be able to do. But I mean, then then comes the the guy from a tribe with a spear, and he comes along saying, "What a pussy! You use a bow? You need one of those springs to pull your stuff." <laughs> yeah, I'm getting spears thrown at me right now. Yeah. Some sons of bitches. And then and then you're gonna have then you're gonna have the cavemen coming along saying, "What are you <laughs> We throw spears? rocks. <laughs> we have these stone axes. I mean, yeah. So th that's the thing, you know. Technology is there to make things easier, so you yep. can use a weapon. But we shouldn't make competitions easier, surely. That's, you know... What if Joe Bloggs comes along with his fancy pants bow, and Jimmy Savile or whatever comes along with his crappy bow? I'm trying to think of names, I can't but think of any. But at the end of those competitions, everyone pretty much has the same clothes. No matter what type of bow, the end of matters. But everyone is, has the same bow that's competing. Only Lee, Lee Sin's competing against Lee Sin. Just, yeah, you know, basically. Hard to compare. Because Everyone Annie should be on the like same area. Annie yeah. is a hero. Annie is a hero. You play her in the ranked game versus pros. Player versus pros. Yeah, she's hard because she really They're fucking needs her ult. She needs her ult to do everything almost. Without and it, and she doesn't have many spells. If you know how to play. In pubs, you know, she's easy, but. In the end, yeah, it's just like, um, what's that horse guy? Like... The horse guy in, like, Hong? 
Rampage, that's it. Just like Rampage. Yeah. It's Pub Stop yeah, 101, yeah, yeah. but in, you know, tournament play. He's not even used in, in tournament play because it's just too, you know, too easy to counter. Huzzah! I've made prisoners it's, of their prisoner. generals. And the difficulty of a, a hero like Annie is positioning and timing and... Um, yeah, yeah. So, in the end, that's that. That's this. That's the endless argument some people have in games. Like, ah, no, your hero is a new hero. No, yours is the new hero. No, yours is the new hero. And there are heroes that are easier than others because the balance is not perfect. You know, also, there fun. should just be technically easier champions because they give people like a way in sort of thing the game, if you yeah. get what I mean. Like, there's this easy yeah, champion for you to get used to the game, then you can start experimenting with the harder ones. I mean, if there were only heroes like Invoker in Han, in Han or uh, Dota... Invoker? Or Dota, right? Oh, Invoker, I remember, yeah. The guy with all the friggin' spells. and Yeah, he has like these balls around him. Um, for playing basketball with. It was like three different types and you can make endless combinations to make new spells sort of thing. Super complicated. Super yeah. hard to play. Hey, who's this son of a bitch attacking my little village? Can I catch him? 3.1? I'm 3.3, I'll catch him eventually. Actually, my town's under siege. No, it's not. Right. So this is what happens on the screen, and then you go into fights. And the terrain, actually, which I'm circling now, which you'll probably get in about five seconds, um, basically the terrain you fight on is determined by what's nearby. Oh, no. That's bad. I just got a notification saying my city with no defenders in it's under attack. <laughs> Sorry for the laughing, but <laughs> it is funny. What's funny? <laughs> that your city without defenders is being attacked. Well, yeah, they need to make like ladders so they can breach into it, but that takes them about nine hours, and it might take me about nine hours to get there, so they may just capture it. thing is, the city's so far out of the way, it's like, why are they attacking it? It's just, ugh. The computer knows that no one's in there, so that's why they attack it. And I'm not losing another damn city to them. Right. Oh, yeah, they've attacked that. Oh, look, my little allies are coming in. See this orange guy? He's coming in to help me. Right. Let's pause it. There we are. Right, let's capture this douche. There we go. He's into fighting with that guy. I'm coming to help though. So this is another thing, like me and another company of soldiers are together now and we're fighting against this one guy's group. Frankly speaking, in this game I prefer to fight like not cavalry sort of thing. I prefer the ground fighting, but you know, cavalry is just you need it to win basically. Yeah. This game kind of shows off the whole importance of what horses were back in these ages. They're kind of like your tanks basically of nowadays. I mean, the amount of times I swing and accidentally hit the horse instead of the guy is like, just, you know, if I hit the horse instead of the guy, the horse can take a hit like that. A guy, he gets his head lobbed off if I hit him like that. And that's something else I was speaking to my friend about the other day, actually. Uh, <laughs> I always thought this game could do with a bit more gore. It'll be just sort of, you know, more realistic. <laughs> yeah. I agree. 
This is one of those games that will really benefit from it, I think. Just like you ride past the guy at full speed. Because you get a speed bonus that you might notice when I swing and hit people. Like a damage button appears and it says like, you were going so fast so you did extra damage. And basically, you know, if you do that, ride past some guy that's running along and smack him, you know. Kasmoosh. Streaming in a thousand twenty four PRP. I'm found what? What was that? Uh, the quality you're streaming in is a thousand twenty four P. Uh, I wanted to do seven twenty, really. Oh no, that's screen resolution, isn't that's it? Really yeah, I have a square one, resolution. One thousand twenty four is really big. I mean, like really high. Isn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, higher sort of thing. Even Kriparian doesn't stream that high. <laughs> Quality. Yeah, but my screen's square, it isn't widescreen. I'm gonna have a widescreen soon. HD widescreen. Once I have my new PC. Isn't there like 640 or something like that for that? Um, yeah. Low. <laughs> the next fight's gonna be my 108 versus the enemy's two. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, you two. <laughs> Trying to ride up this massive sand dune. They're on horses, at least. They should use them to run. <laughs> Practically speaking, when it said two people, I was expecting two farmers. Because <laughs> that's what your un totally untrained soldiers basically are, just farmers. In this game. Ah! Save my men. You turned up just in the nick of time, fuck knows. I'm not, I will not forget your help. Escaped, you bastard. Oh yeah, and that's another thing with this game. Food is important. Very important. Oh, I forgot to speak on TeamSpeak then. Yeah, food is very important. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Yeah, you need lots of food to keep your army going. And they eat through it, especially these knights. They they eat food like faster well, they're like the best unit as far as I know. So yeah, they eat food like crazy. Party every night as far as I can tell. So I time to buy them chicken, sausages and bread and honey. And yeah, that's it. Glazed honey chicken with some bread and honey glazed sausages. This window is smooth. Pretty much. What, the, like, trading window? Yeah. Go to the tavern, have a little look-see, who's in here, oh, ransom broker, perfect. I can now, like, sell people into slavery, basically. <laughs> uh, but I can't sell, like, the generals that I've captured, you can't do anything. But the, the enemy, like, army, because they've lost these generals, that means they can't mobilize men with them. So what I'm going to do with these generals is I'm going to stick them in my prison in Halmar. Because I've got like a really good prison that I built in Halmar. So people can't really escape it. So I'm just going to put more people... I'm going to put all of their generals into Halmar. And then they're going to slowly not be able to mobilize any men. And when that sort of happens, then they'll lose all of their cities. Because they can't do anything about it. If you don't have the generals to lead your men, you can't lead men, you can't defend anything. So that's how I'm going to defeat these guys in the end. 
because, right, I'm going to show you. See these two cities here, Ichimar and Tulga, right? I owned these ages back, and we owned these, we owned basically everything below the mountains, we owned this section. But because we had, well, not many generals, really, and not many forces, when we suddenly went to war after just capturing all of this stuff, these guys just sent all of their forces into us. Because they just could. Because we were the only person they're at war with. Yeah, that sounds like from civilization. Yeah. Right, time to put more guys into the prison. Okay, I have what's it? Fucking loads of people basically in here now in my prison. Loads of their generals they can't really do anything with now. Yeah, I'm just letting the recruits go free because those guys are worth like nothing. Yep, this place now has loads of generals in it, basically. So they're just losing their forces. And that's also another thing. You need, like, when I first played this game, all I had was bread in my inventory to feed my men with. As much as I feel sorry for my men only eating bread and nothing else. But yeah, that's actually, it does have a negative, because you need diversity of food to keep them happy. That's cool. Because at first I thought, oh, you just need like one food, that's all you need. But no, you, yeah, you actually do need different foods, so it's pretty smart in that sense. Right. I am going to take back Tolga, because that, that was my city that I owned, and they've taken it from me, so it's time to take it back. I think their forces are getting weak. Oh, there's a guy in front of me. I'm going to quickly save just so I don't accidentally balls up really badly and lose everything I've done. Here we go. I'm going to capture this guy, I hope. No, he's retreated to his castle. Oh well, I'm going to siege this castle then. Right, now this is a bit of a boring task because basically I now have to wait 90 hours of in game time to build a siege castle. Uh, siege tower even and as you can see this appears to be reinforcements coming to help but they're scared of me so they don't really want to approach so they've run away and they're deciding no we're not going to help you <laughs> uh, and here's them trying to buy their generals back but I'm simply just going to say no because I'm not going to give them their forces back why should I do that? For money and then you can destroy them? I don't know. Yeah, but if I give them back then they can get more force. Oh my god, no! They're attacking my city again, the one with no defenders. Damn it. I'm gonna have to abandon the siege. I can't just let them take my city with no effort. After all, it means their forces are far away from their their people, so... I can capture them, hopefully. There's lots of them around here, lots and lots of their forces. seems the Nords and the Vagars are having issues. Yeah, I think the Vagars, I'm not sure, but they might be the Russian 
um, like medieval sort of forces. Not hundred percent sure on that, but I the think they are. <laughs> yeah, if I've said that right, it's they uh, uh, V A E G I R S. But I think it sounds funny. <laughs> Turkuba. Mm. I'm tired. Yeah, it is pretty late. Is it? What time is it? Uh, without my phone being on, I don't know. <laughs> I assume it's late, because it's dark outside. But yeah, it's been dark for a while now. At least it's not like, you know, ages back when we played Left 4 Dead, where it's like, it's not dark anymore, it's light. And it's not just a little bit light, it's very light. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't mind playing like that again. Real life. Yeah, real life doesn't permit oh, you to live like that. <laughs> wow, I just dealt 350 odd life to a horse. Go away, you little farmer. These bleeding farmers are all over the shop. Basically, whenever you see blue text, that's one of our guys taking out an enemy. And whenever you see yellow text, that's one of my guys being knocked unconscious. And whenever you see orange text, that's one of my guys being killed. Don't expect to see the orange text much. Then again, whenever I do see orange text appear, I'm kind of annoyed, because it takes a long time to train these knights up. Well... It used to, now it doesn't so much because I have lots of training skill, oh my guy. Because you get all sorts of skills and basically you can skill to be someone who trains their men or you can be specifically trained so you're good at combat or whatever, whatever you prefer. My guy's good at training but he's really good at fighting. And that's also something, basically right. Um, because I'm not sure how this system works, but I assume that you can make your own forces by essentially getting a woman and making the forces, like generals, essentially. Hit your young generals. And basically I aimed to get married in this game, so I found a woman and I was getting the reputation up with her sort of thing, like, you know, meeting her and all that sort of stuff. And then her brother, because originally yeah, yeah. she was part of the Swadians, but her brother decided to steal her away and go join the um, our enemies. So I've constantly been trying to break into their castles to meet her, essentially, which is a pain in the ass now. Whoa. That's cool. So basically that's become my goal, is to basically take over all of her, the places where she is, so I can get her back into the Swadians. But it doesn't work that easily. I need her brother to join back with the Swadians in order for that to work. Because, it, well I guess in medieval times her brother is her only family, so he will essentially control her. Which is a pain in the ass. Also, this game has lots of mods. Like, um, apparently, like there's um, a Game of Thrones mod and everything for this game, so you can play it whatever way you like. Uh, it just changes like the characters in the game because if I click on characters, no, that's my character. Um, 
their characters. There's like all of these characters in the game. Yeah, there's all the ladies. There's plenty of ladies out there, and I happened to pick the one that had to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Yeah. It's very realistic in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, actually that is one thing about this game and I compared with other games is building up a relationship in this game takes a long time. A long, long time. <laughs> I mean, the only way you can seem to make it go faster is by learning poetry. But I've learned all the poems there are and I can only tell them to her once. <laughs> and well yeah I've that's got her nice. basically I need to get her up to a hundred if I want her to be like over the hills in love with me basically and I've got her to about 13 so what's that like you know she kind of likes me a bit <laughs> and obviously it goes to negative 100 she recognizes as well. you she recognizes you when you appear yeah basically <laughs> <laughs> when I come into a room she's like oh I know you like Oh, hi. I know you from somewhere. I've been reading poems to you my whole life! What's going on, bitch? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're that guy. <laughs> uh, comedy gold. <laughs> Sounds quite realistic to me. Sounds like real life. <laughs> Game, man. It's a good game. If you've got lots of friggin' time to sync, then it's an amazing game. But frankly speaking, I don't think I even have enough time to play this game completely. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was quite time consuming. I mean, I've been playing it for probably the last five, six days, but I've been playing it a lot. Like a good few hours a day, and I haven't really done much. I mean, we've lost a city, for God's sake, there. We, I did manage to take out one entire nation that lived in this section, but that was a ball ache, and look what's happened after we took them all out. They've come in and taken them from us. And there's like an achievement to take over the entire land. Oh yeah, and by the way, you can play this game as a woman, and it actually makes the game harder because you can't do as much because you're a woman in these sort of times. Like, frankly That's speaking, true. I became a noble quite easily because I was like a really good knight and I did lots of stuff for the king. But if you're a woman, I don't think the king will take to you quite so much, basically. Ah, finally, I get yeah, to actually assault a place. Sex with you. <laughs> Being a woman in the game is like the hardcore version of the game. Yeah, basically. <laughs> right, this is attacking. No mounts in this mode, of course. Here come the spears and arrows. This, frankly speaking, this combat is a bit weird. You will see why very soon. Don't forget that I... Yeah. Freeze a lot. And this is kind of what happens when you start a fight on a, a city. You'll notice all the men will gather at this one point in one huge cluster. And I'll jump on top of them all. <laughs> Seems like fun. Seems kind of like shivery. It is a bit like chivalry, actually, a little bit, but like the combat's nowhere near as good as in chivalry, sort of thing. Like, if you notice, the way I move my mouse will determine how my swing goes. Like, if I move my mouse to the side like this, I'll swing that way. If I move it like that, I'll swing the wrong way. It's much laggier than you imagine. Oh god. It's like in the menu it's okay, but in these situations it's like it's always like frozen images. It updates that sucks. the image every every five ten seconds. It's kind of hard. That's just my PC I think that because my PC absolutely sucks. Oh, I've fallen off. Good job. Uh, 
I'm just, I still think it's the genetic connection. No, I, I think this of part of it, I think it literally is my PC. My PC is just bad. How, how much upload do you have? I mean, if you don't have... Up there, you yeah, probably, I guess. But my PC just is so terrible. And I've been waiting for so long I mean, for like parts. How, like, te test, test your, like, like, going on Google or YouTube stuff while you're streaming. You'll see when you have your PC. Yes, I get my new PC. I'm down. I'm waiting for the graphics card, the processor, and the RAM, and it's just a ball ache. There we go. This castle's ours. This is also a nice thing. After the fight ends, you can hire the guys that were taken prisoner by your enemy. So if there's any units you can like, you can replace basically the units you lost in the skirmish. Really stuff about torch like you can like buy dynamite. Yeah, didn't you notice know, the dynamite? So <laughs> it's like it does all the fishing in one fell swoop for you. That's pretty nice. But you get less rewards, sort of thing. So it's if you want to do stuff quick, basically. If you don't have the time, then use dynamite. If you do have the time, then fish. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to go to Helmer and take my prisoner here. And I think I'll call it here and... Oh god, my city is under attack again. Okay, yeah, I'm going to take this prisoner back to Helmer. And then I'm going to call it here, basically. Because, um... I think this should be recording what I've been doing. I think, if Twitch is correct then I'll be able to see what the footage oh, yeah. is like myself and then I'll be able to upload it to YouTube sort of thing. Because after all, YouTube is my main thing that I'm doing sort of stuff, you know. But I do intend to get into this whole uploady uh, stream. Uploady stream. Yeah, that's also something about this game. If you want it to be, you could just be a bandit. You could just rob caravans and stuff like that, and just live off of basically that. Except for, of course, the locals probably wouldn't be too happy with you. But you could literally just become the bandit king of the world. Which is quite interesting, I think. So basically, this game is whatever story you want to play, you can play it. Okay, that's it for now then, anyway. Okay.